Hello, my name is John Muir Laws. This series of videos produced by the California Native Plant Society is designed to help you learn how to draw plants and wildflowers. Before watching these videos, I suggest that you download from the California Native Plant Society website worksheets that will go along with the different lessons. One set of worksheets is designed for individual students. This worksheet has one copy of each of the images that we'll be using. If, however, you are a classroom teacher and would like to use these lessons to teach a large group of students, there is also worksheets that have multiple images on them. You can use these to make a set for your entire class, as well as large demonstration pieces that you will use as you are working through the, the lessons with your students. Go to the website now and download those images before continuing with this video. One trick which helps tremendously with your drawings is to divide working out the details, the fine details in a drawing, from first getting the basic shape down. If your brain is focused on the details, say how to make the edges of a leaf jaggy and sawtoothed, it's hard to come around and connect that base of that leaf, end up with a leaf that's the right shape, the right width, the right length, and has that little jaggedy edge. If instead you first concentrate on getting the basic shape down, you can superimpose on top of that the details. So what I do when I draw is I usually begin a drawing with a non-photo blue pencil. This pencil puts down a light ghost image. I'll look at that and make sure that I have my basic shape down. On top of that, I can start to lay in, still with the blue pencil, the basic locations of the petals, looking at the symmetry of the flower. How is that flower foreshortened? Once I am convinced that I have those sorts of details down with the blue pencil, I'll put that aside and pick up a graphite pencil and begin to draw from there the fine details on the edge of each leaf, the veins on top of the leaf, the little nectar guides, all the details of a flower. But it all starts on top of a foundation that gives you the basic size proportions of your plant. So what we're going to do in these videos is begin by understanding how to represent the symmetry in a flower, how to get those five petals in the right places, the right length, the right width. Following this introduction, we'll examine how to block in the symmetry of a flower. We'll then take that flower and tilt it and look at how the sizes and shapes of the individual petals change as you rock that flower back and forth and look at it from different angles. We'll then examine how cone-shaped flowers foreshorten very different than a fl flower whose petals are on a flat plane. Finally, we'll examine how petals that twist and curl can be represented easily on your piece of paper. We hope that you find these videos helpful in drawing and sketching wildflowers and enjoying the beauty of nature. Thank you for watching.